Oh, but that's the suit for as we sabotaging another game called Rune 2. I never heard of Rune 2. But, Professor has recently been added to existing roster that was as a company of Tetsui sabotaged the release of Rune 2 to protect its Elder Scrolls series. Through the Norwalk and Fluence game to its sequel from 2000, main, it drew many comparisons to Skyrim prior to release. In 2019, Doom, Doom 2, Rune 2 developer Ragnarok Game sued Human Head Studios, the game developer, the Acquisition Studio attempted to sabotage the game I was working on the third day after Dune do, Rune 2's release. Human Head developed officially closed its door to reopen the exact day as Roundhouse Studios. But I was really part of the day. The studio has been bought by Zenimax subsidiary professor. According to Ragnarok Game, the river acts has been taken by parent company to hurt the release of the Elder Scrolls competitor. According to PC Gamer, Ragnarok Game has demanded its risk of a lawsuit which has had it against Human Head Studio, which now includes Zenimax Max Studio and Professor Southwark and Microsoft as well now. And yep, they're suing Bethesda because of this game called Rune 2, as they treated it as a threat to the Elder Scrolls franchise and they all can do to hinder the project. Going to Ragnarok Games, the allegations the lawsuit seeks $100 million as well as registration to develop a cost, penitive charges, and attorney's fees, as well as other penalties. And Professor has yet to comment. Prior to the release of Rune 2, Human Head Studios has been in the process of firing several companies, including Zenimax among them, and Professor as well. Same Max was not the only potential buyer, but not or not all for development of the game. Same Max is tired ended up how developing a crime human head and took possession of all studios and poison assets. Eight days later, Rune has it released the day human head closed reopened as roundhouse in those eight days, Same Max is fully reported on Rune took put support away from the future game. And with the all this on legal obligations, Human Head Studios may have had Ragnarok Games in theory. So, Human Head Professor would have the right to cancel any Human Head project it was working on soon as the studio became a subsidiary. But, Zenimax Max, in order eight days before on release date, Human Head had still obligations to the Ragnarok game. So, that means Rune 2, a game that nobody has heard of, but the fact that this game was intentionally sabotaged by Professor, that Professor might have to pay a lot of money. For this game, I might actually have to release this game as they as they attended it to release. So that's basically it. Goodbye.